Oui, on peut y aller. So, hello everybody. Our next uh, speaker is uh, Ludovic Dubost with the talk uh, Supercharge Your Collaboration with an Open Source Wiki. Please give him a warm welcome. So, I'm, I'm good on the mute. No? Ah, oui, non, c'est là. C'est là? Ouais. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. So, um, I'm going to have a talk about uh, an Open Source Wiki, XWiki. Uh, so first, um, who am I? Uh, so I'm Ludovic Dubost. I, uh, I created the XWiki software, and I've been working on it for 12 years uh, with uh, the company uh, that I created at the same time. Uh, what we do is, is fully open source. Um, our company has been bootstrapped, and it's actually fully owned by its employees. Uh, and it's actually a particularity and a choice that we made uh, to, to not uh, raise money or, or get outside money so that we can keep our independence and, and choose the way we do our, our, our business and, and doing open source in particular. Um, the company has, um, has around 2 million euros revenue today. It's for uh, close to 40 employees. Um, I'm promoting as much as I can and my time permits open source in France in particular. And uh, I have a special interest in, in ethical open source business. So what I mean by that is uh, I have uh, this interest of how, how can you live from open source? Uh, so not just do it in your free time, but actually do it full time all, all day long. And, uh, and still as a business uh, and being ethical and, uh, and, and, and respect your communities. Um, so uh, XWiki is a, is a wiki software for enterprises has many innovative features. Uh, it, it's based on Bootstrap, has Bootstrap, and is, is fully responsive. We have done a lot of work on, on usability, uh, especially in the, la in the last few years. It's also a software that is uh, available on the cloud. So you can actually go to xwiki.com and create a wiki in, uh, in five minutes and try it on the cloud, and then eventually uh, uh, use our services to host it. But it's also open source, and you can download it uh, either on xwiki.com or on xwiki.org. And uh, well, we have a bit of recognition. Uh, one of the big things that uh, we achieved uh, in the last uh, few years is that Amazon decided to switch their media wiki to xwiki. Uh, and, uh, and now uh, our software is in production. Uh, and is, is, serving, is serving a lot of pages at Amazon uh, uh, globally. What's interesting is that a uh, company like Amazon tech companies have wikis at the heart. They use wikis much more strongly than traditional companies would. And that's actually quite interesting for us to have this type of recognition. Um, we're a bit trending. So this shows, about, this is, this shows our, our install rate. So actually, the curve at the top is the install rate. Uh, so this is over a couple of years. Uh, and it shows our install rates per month. Uh, and uh, the, the number at the bottom is actually showing the people that keep it more than 10 days. So after trying it out and, uh, and keep it running. And actually, it doesn't show as well on this graph, but we almost doubled the amount of people per, uh, per, uh, per month uh, that keep the, wiki, uh, keep the wiki running. We have about 3,000 uh, active install in the world, uh, and we hope to continue to grow that fast. Um, this is our total active install. Uh, and what is interesting is that we have seen that uh, with, uh, with the changes that we made in, uh, this year, we have actually accelerated install rates. So we, we were kind of uh, uh, growing regularly, progressively, and now we're, we're having more acceleration. Uh, and uh, we think that we can, we can accelerate the number of installs of wikis in the world. Um, what's, uh, what's unique in XWiki, so a, f a few features I'd like to point out that are uh, quite unique in XWiki. And so this, this one has actually been sponsored by Amazon. And uh, we introduced in XWiki what we call nested spaces. Uh, and so basically, we, have a, we, we, we can make a tree of page, and at, at any we, we can uh, whenever we're on a page, we can create subpages and create a hierarchy of pages, and we can put user rights at any uh, at any place in the tree. So user rights and configuration of the of the wiki screen at any place on the tree. That actually one of the things compared to media wiki uh, that is quite powerful in XWiki is the possibility of having user rights. Uh, at, uh, at any place in the tree, and this is something that companies very often need a lot. Um, 
we also have a, a, something called page structuration. So in Xwiki, you can not only uh, have text pages, but you can actually create pages that have metadata. And what's interesting with that type of feature is that it gives you additional structure in your wiki. So a good way of using Xwiki and using, uh, using Xwiki is that we, uh, you start by creating a lot of pages in wiki style, uh, but after, after a while you realize that your, your content lacks a bit of structure. For example, if you make pages about projects, you will want to know who is the project manager. And in Xwiki, you will be able to decide to use, to use fields in your pages, and there will still be wiki pages. That means they, will, they can still be linked with other, uh, other pages. They can still have history, still have comments and all that things, but they can have structure, and this allows you to have a, a better way to navigate in the information. So we, and this creates these type of screens where you can navigate your wiki pages by different metadata fields. This is actually quite powerful and makes wikis also much more accessible to non-tech people because one of the things that we learned uh, over the 12 years is that tech people knows wikis very well, but when you open wikis to non-tech people, they have a hard time understanding how exactly it works and these type of features uh, democratize much more uh, the way wiki works, uh, wikis work and they, they at the same time they keep the wiki principle. Another thing is that we have uh, flexibility and programming inside the wiki. So XWiki, and that, that is something that where we compare with tools like Conference that are used a lot, um, we, we can control the UI a lot. So uh, if you want to change what's in the menu on the left and menu at the top, if you want to change the skin, you can change it completely, and you can actually do that through scripting inside the, uh, the XWiki tool. Another thing is that you can, you can use macros to script inside your wiki. So if you want to go access external tools in your wiki, you can write scripts uh, using the Groovy language. Uh, you can write scripts to get the data from these other tools and bring them in your, in your wiki. For example, we've done macros for Elasticsearch or Kibana. We can, uh, we can show widgets from Kibana or we can, uh, we can write scripts to, to call Elasticsearch and so see the results inside XWiki. What I showed, the graphs about uh, XWiki uh, trending data, uh, our install rates, they come from an Elasticsearch instance, and they're shown inside our wiki. So we, we, we navigate inside our wiki to look at our statistics, uh, and uh, the, the data is coming from, uh, from Kibana or Elasticsearch. Another thing is that we have an extended API, so you can access the data in the wiki from, from anywhere outside uh, with great APIs. Um, some other features, we have templates, so you can, uh, when you create a document, you say plus document, you have a whole choice of documents. These can be text documents or these can be structured documents. So if you define a structure for, for let's say, a project document, you will have a template called project template, and you do a plus, you want to create, you want to create a new document, you choose this, the type of document that you want to create, and you have easy to use templates to do that. So this has been improved a lot in the latest version of XWiki to make it much more easier to use. Uh, we also have PDF output, so, and this is something that people use a lot, is that if you have created a lot of pages in your wiki, uh, you might want to share them. So first you can share the pages that you create in PDF, so export to PDF. You can also do export to Word. But what's interesting is that you can actually, you can actually script to create, uh, uh, to take all your pages and make a big PDF out of all your pages. So this is actually quite interesting for documentation if you want to bring your documentation offline. And we also do that for procedures. We have projects uh, with companies where we're doing uh, procedure guides for, uh, for salespeople or, or any other type of people in the company, and they, they generate PDFs out of these sales guide. Uh, we also have an extension repository with applications that, and extensions that you can install. So we have an upgrade system. And we have also a bunch of collaborative applications that you, you can add to XWiki. All these collaborative applications, they're built on top of the wiki model. So every page that, cr that any application in XWiki is creating is a wiki page. It's just not a text wiki page. It's a structured wiki page. And it has history, full history. One of the things that is quite interesting is that Everything that is done in XWiki is historized. That means you can roll it back at any moment. Even when it's, uh, even the preferences of the wiki, you can actually roll them back to a previous version. Because everything's historized, including the preferences of the wiki. So now, why, why should you actually use XWiki? So I want to point out these things that I already mentioned. The flexibility, the UI, the structure that XWiki can bring to you. 
You should also use XWiki because it's open source, and uh, we still use way too many uh, tools in the developer community that are not open source, and we, we probably should do that if we, if we believe that uh, open source should, should strive. Uh, we, you also can get better support services. Actually, if you purchase our support services, Compared to uh, to other uh, to proprietary software, it's not the same time of support you get. You get actually people that help you. So in our support services, we go way beyond uh, just uh, telling people, uh, call it, uh, getting answers when people have problems. We actually help them uh, get get uh, ha learn how to use the wiki better. So actually, our support services are cheaper than the price of the licenses. Uh, of the of the proprietary software, uh, but uh, our support services are actually uh, uh, much more advanced than uh, what, what they are. You can also use XWiki because you want to be nice, and uh, and you can use a, an actually not so good reason to use XWiki. It's because it's free. Uh, so when you have if you have difficulties bringing it in in your company, the the fact that it's free. Uh, might be a way to bring it in, but actually it shouldn't be a good reason for bringing open source software. Open source software should be br brought in companies, not because they're free, but because they're, they can be modified and because they're open source. Um, so actually, I want to have this slide about open source versus proprietary, because we have a bit of a paradox. Uh, we're, we're, all, uh, we're all building open source. Uh, the question is, are we actually using open source uh, when we're building open source? And what I see is that, uh, well, the thing is, closed source companies, they have a, a much, bigger, much bigger marketing, and so they, they get the software, they do much more known. One of the things we believe that we're, 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 we're not that different, our software is not that bad compared to the equivalent proprietary software. The thing is, it's, it's much less known. And this is a lot to do with the marketing aspects and the, the lack of marketing. And uh, we also see closed source company, they use a lot of open source software in their proprietary software, but they actually don't contribute that much to that, uh, to that uh, open source software. Now, we know it's not easy to use, uh, not to use the mainstream software or, or, or the, the very known software, and, and I'm one of them because I have a Mac. Uh, and, uh, and I know it's not easy to decide to switch. Uh, you always have a glitch or something like that. When you switch, you need to get used to something new, and it's not that easy to switch. Uh, but at the same time, it, if we want open source to be bigger, I mean, it's important to, um, to help open source uh, groups to complete their software. If, if the open source software that compete with the closed source software don't have the users, and, and don't have the services and the financing from these users, they cannot make their open source software as good as, as, as software companies that have a completely different model. They put a lot of money at the beginning, they make a great software, and then they sell it a lot, and then they, they decide how it's going to evolve. So, and, and this is what we don't like when we're talking about open source. At some point, the closed source software has this problem of not evolving anymore because the company that sells this decides how to make it evolve. And this is why I like to do open source software, because I like that people can decide uh, how to make it evolve uh, somewhere. So um, at some point, we need to start somewhere. Um, now the question, so one of the things we talk a lot when we are at Taboos, that uh, we get developers that come and, uh, oh, what do you use? Oh, we use conference. And they say, oh, but, but this, we didn't decide it. Uh, so what I would like to tell you is that if your company is using proprietary software, not necessarily only Confluence, if you want to convince them to use, uh, uh, to use proprietary software, well, well, what can you do? So you can tell your boss that the software is free. That, that sometimes helps instead of paying. You, you, can, you can give references. So for example, in the case of XWiki, you can tell them that high profile companies are using that software. In our case, for example, it's Amazon. You can pitch the key advantages that these software have. So try to learn what the key advantages of the open source software are compared to the, to the proprietary software and, and pitch that to your boss. Uh, you can pitch the fact that you can do custom projects with that open source software. So you can actually, if the company has specific needs, you can use that open source software to, to solve that specific need inside the company. And that's a, an interesting way to bring open source software inside the companies. You can pitch the support services. I believe, and I genuinely believe, that the support services of open source companies, like when, there is a, when our company is behind uh, open source software, have much better support services than the proprietary equivalent. 
And so you can pitch that level of services and tell that there are services like that that you can pitch. And, you would, and the last thing you can do is that if you, if you want to convince them to use our wiki, well, give them my phone number. They, give, give, give me their phone number of, the, of your boss, and I'll, I'll try to convince them. Uh, well, how can you try XWiki? You can download it on XWiki.org. Uh, you can also try it on the cloud. So you go to XWiki.com and you can try it in a couple of minutes. You can also go to the XWiki playground and you can uh, visit an instance of XWiki. Actually, if you go to XWiki.org or XWiki.com, they're both websites done with XWiki. So they're we're using our own software uh, for these websites. And that's the and, laptop uh, going. And I'm going to finish. And so you can join the community and come help us. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Ludovic. We, have, we don't have time for questions, but please meet Ludovic outside for if you want to talk about XWiki.